The first Black Bass on the Famicom utterly defeated me. I played for an hour and couldn't even hook a fish. So as I give a bit of background on this game, I'm just gonna play out my first cast. The original Black Bass was completely terrible and borderline unplayable. And that leads to an odd situation where the US version of Black Bass 2 is just the Black Bass. Oh hey, there's a fish. I was fishing for over 20 minutes in Black Bass 1 before I saw a fish. The first Black Bass had a side view, and it made things really uncomfortable. This one, on the other hand, is played from an overhead view, and that fish is getting really close. And I've hooked it! The very first time I cast the line and I hooked a fish. Now can I land it? When you've got a fish on the line, hitting the A button reels it in, and the B button lets the fish have a little bit more line. The picture of the fish tells you how worn out it is, while the bar is how deep it's gone in the water. As you're reeling it in, if you hear an alarm, that means the line's about to break and you need to let up for a little bit. And I've caught myself a fish! Now perhaps some of that could just be that I got lucky with my fishing spot, but cruising around and trying a few different places, I still found fish. I'd have to try switching up bait, because sometimes the fish would take a look and then swim away. And as the time of day advanced, fish became more rare in certain areas. If you want the big fish, you need the deep water in the early morning hours. And the conclusion I'm kind of coming to here is... The Black Bass 2 might genuinely be good. Well, maybe not good, but definitely not horrible. Let's step back a moment here. In the Black Bass 2, you're competing in a series of fishing derbies. You have one day on the lake to catch a certain amount of fish. And you're going to be judged by the weight of them. You have fairly limited bait when you leave. On the first stage, you just have two of three different kinds of bait. And you'll permanently lose it if you cast that bait onto the shore, or if the fish breaks the line. On the first lake, I found that the first type of bait was good for the small fish, and the last type of bait was good for the large fish. You maneuver around the lake to pick out your fishing spot, though you don't have control over what direction you're casting. Wherever you stop, it's always consistent. And then you cast. You can pick what direction you're casting in, hit A once to start, and hit A again to throw it out. When your bait's in the water, you can hit left and right to steer it, and A to reel it in, You'll want to do that to jiggle the lure a bit and get the fish's attention. Once a fish does bite, fighting with them can be a bit of a challenge. The large ones in particular are tough to wear out and fight hard enough to break your line easily. You'll have to get good if you want to land the big fish. After you either land your fish or reel the lure all the way back in, you then have the opportunity to change the lure, move your spot, cast the line, or just return for the day. I found that after about 9.30, fish just weren't showing up for me anymore. There probably were a few spots where I could have found them, but I wasn't having much luck. Once you do get back in, you can get a password that'll let you continue where you left off. There are four lakes in the game, and they are different from the US version. I don't have a lot more to say about the Black Bass 2 because it's not a particularly complicated game. It doesn't seem like it was especially popular in Japan. I couldn't find a single page talking about the Black Bass 2, just lots of people complaining about Black Bass 1. Even the Japanese Wikipedia page on the Black Bass series misdates the game. But you know what? I think it's actually okay. Even if it has one of the weirdest boxes on the Famicom.